I thank you for being our friends. I thank you for crying with us. I thank you for loving us at this time. God is good. And all the time, Nyasaya Ber, Sache, Nyasaya Numlai, Zinyinga Siosi Nyasaya Numlai. Thank you so much for coming today so that you can share with me this special man that God had put in my life. Nawashukuru wote, tena, nasema asante. I met Gerald in 1982. I was on a bus, a young girl going to work, and a nice man, tall, slender, of course, he had very black skin and very white teeth. I think, ladies, you understand what I mean? Very tall, slender, black. Our children say black, but with very white teeth. That is the man I met in 1982. And the man I loved and will continue to love. And the man I know loved me. Because on the 18th of this month, when I was taking him to hospital, he told me, Jaber, I am glad I married you and I love you. He told me three times. And I'm glad I came to know this man that you have all talked about. I'm glad you, you came to know this man that I also knew. I'm glad that you all came here because you loved this man whom I also loved. Thank you so much for coming. This same man I married on the 2nd of November 1986 at the Nairobi Central SDA Church. And the presiding pastor, Pastor Mpisi, when just before we went in to be married, he looked at him and said, you look very smart. And I winked. And he looked at me and told me, you, looked, you look beautiful. And I still believe it until today. Gerald, as I called him Jerry, was a good man. Gerald was a loving man. Gerald was a man who knew God. Just this last week, the week before he died, he woke up every day at 4 o'clock not to read storybooks, not to read political write-ups, but to study the Bible and pray. And I know God, the same God that I serve, listened to him. And I know this same God, because I believe it, when the trumpet will be called, I shall meet this tall, slender man with white teeth and maybe with very white white wings flying and saying, Rose, come, we worship God, because I believe in the second coming. And that is my hope today, that as we put Gerald to rest, that one day the blessed hope, which is that we shall meet again with those we love, that I'll touch Gerald, not as a human body, but as an angel. I thank God for his life. Gerald was a friend to me, Gerald was my mate. Gerald was my all in all. Gerald made me laugh. He made me laugh many, many times. For example, you all are aware of the day when my husband was made the minister. And when you press, you asked him, where were you? He told you he was in the bedroom. And you all laughed. But for us, it was not a joke. Gerald was seated, relaxed, comfortable, because he knew God is good. And that is why today, instead of mourning and crying, I want to stand here before you and tell you, our God is a good God. And our God gave me a good man, whom, because of the blessed hope, one day I'll meet in heaven with my children, my grandchildren, and everyone. This is a man who every morning he took Nyoyo and, and, and Uji 
and from the same cup, he drank with my grandchildren and he talked to them about good things. In fact, he taught them stories and songs from Luoland. He taught our little granddaughter how to sing a song which is very special to her in the Luo. I thank God for Gerald. I'll miss Gerald. I won't see him on this earth, but I believe that same hope that through Jesus Christ we shall meet again. I know I'll, I'll meet him in heaven, and that's why I can smile. I can laugh today, and I thank you all for coming here today to share and celebrate this good man whom I knew personally, this man who could sing, this man who could sing. I've heard a lot of you singing Wapambano, and I think you are getting out of tune somehow because Gerald had a baritone, and Gerald could sing, and he could bring the tone high and low, and the Mapambano can never be the same without him, but I know he lives among us, and I thank God for him. I want to read to you or narrate to you in finishing one of the scriptures that he really loved, which was Psalm 23, and it says, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And I love this one most, this next verse. Even though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, even though my husband is gone today, even though I walk through the shadow of the valley of death, I shall not fear. Why? Because the Lord holds me by his hand and the Lord will bring him back again for me to see him when glory comes. And I thank God because he is a faithful God. And it ends by saying, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. And then we used to say this verse together, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Jerry, I'll miss you. Jerry, you are my friend. Jerry, you are a great man. Jerry, I'll always love you. Bye-bye, Mapambano.